libraries are a collection of code that makes it easy for you to connect to a sensor, display, module. For example, the Liquid Crystal library makes it easy to talk to character LCD displays. This video describes how to create Arduino library from Arduino Sketch. A library typically consists of a header file, H. This contains the library's definitions. Source code, C++. This contains the library's code. A keyword file, text. This contains the keywords used in the library. A readm file, text. This contains other information about the library. Examples, Inno. These are to show a user how to operate the library. First look what's inside of our sketch. A very simple sketch that you can use to blink or flash LEDs. I'm using 8 LEDs in this sketch. And there is the output of sketch. Now I will convert this sketch into a class sketch. We start by declaring a flasher class. In private access modifier, I have set 8 variables for my LEDs which only class can use. Next I add a constructor in public access modifier. The constructor has the same name as the class, and its job is to initialize all the variables. This flasher class also contain a member function, which are pin setup function. Pin setup function includes all pin configuration. Finally I take my loop function and turn it into another member function called sequence1 function. For using class features in main sketch, we create an instance of the flasher class by calling constructor. Now we can use class member function in main sketch. Now we create a header file and source code file from this class sketch. To create the header file and source code, we will need to use a word editor of some sort. I'll be using Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor. Create and select a folder for library files. Open up a new file and save it as flasher.h. Now open again a new file and save it as flasher.c++.
source file contains the functions of the class. The actual way to use the functions are not in the class, they are on the C++ file. So we put all these functions of the class into the C++ file. Header files contain definitions of functions and variables, which is imported or used into program by using the preprocessor, include statement. Header file have an extension .h which contains function declaration and macro definition. So in library header file, the class contains the only functions and variables declaration to be used in your library. They are just listed here for reference. After declaring the variables and function, we will add these lines to the header file. The define statement defines this file as a flash header file, so that it can be included within the source file. The include of Arduino.h gives this library access to the standard Arduino types and constants, hi, digital write, etc. The if not defined statement checks to see if the flasher.h file isn't already defined. This is to stop double declarations of any identifiers within the library. It is paired with a rendif statement at the bottom of the header. The include of Arduino.h in source code file gives this library access to the standard Arduino types and constants, high, digital write, etc. It's an accessory for sketches, but required for libraries as they are not Arduino files. This will include the header file, so that the source file has access to the function definitions in the flasher library. This is where the constructor source code appears. The double colon operator indicates that it is part of the flasher class and should be used for all constructors and functions that are part of a class. By rearranging of our class code into header and source file, we have create our library. Now let's use it. Copy the library folder into the Arduino libraries folder. After copying it, restart Arduino IDE.
you can create keywords file by following method. The keywords file is the file that tells the IDE which words are important and should be highlighted. Two different types of keywords exist. Keyword 1 for classes, keyword 2 for functions. I have some other sketches that blink or flash LEDs with different ways. I have included all functions of these sketches in header file and source file. So you can use the library according to your way.
You can download all of these files from the link below to further information and understanding. I hope you now know how to create Arduino library from Arduino Sketch. If you enjoyed this video please let me know. I would also appreciate your feedback on the content and suggestions for improvement.